I've come to Kentmere today. Uh, I've just come up the road, I, uh, kept it local because I was going to go over to the Western Lakes again and do the Mosedale Horseshoe, uh, do Pillow again like I did last week, but it's a bit too much of it. It takes about an hour and a half to drive around there and I couldn't be bothered and I got up a bit late. So yeah, I thought I'd stay local today. Uh, and I'm going to do the Kentmere Horseshoe, um, maybe. I don't know, we'll have to see on that because uh, there's a number of factors going on. Uh, the clag's on, the clag's on the top of the hills and also my knee's playing up a little bit, but we'll just see how we get on with that. So I've managed to park at the Kentmere Village Hall, which I'm surprised at if I'm totally honest. There's like four car spaces or maybe six at a push and they're generally full. So I generally have to go around to the secret parking spot that I have, which is a little bit further into the valley. Uh, anyone who's local or been up around this area probably knows of it. Yeah, so it's nice to actually get a little parking spot here. Um, the town hall is used as a checkpoint for uh, ultra races in the area, I believe. It's gonna be used for the Lakeland Trails 100K, which I'm running next year. Probably the 50K as well, I'm not entirely sure. It's a nice spot here, and I think the path goes up through Nanbield Pass over into Haweswater. So uh, yeah, I think um, maybe the Lakeland, 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 Lakeland 100 slash 50 uses it as well i'm not sure i've never done it there's quite a lot of history in this area which is cool the church is pretty cool i think the rendering on the outside is not so hot but it's a pretty nice church yeah if you go inside they've got a history of the area up on the walls which you can go and read which is quite interesting but i won't bore you with the details too much needless to say there's a lot of mining and this quarrying that took place up in this area over the years and there's some pretty cool caves one of which we're going to go and check out later it's called cauldron cave i have actually been to it before i went there a couple of weeks back i didn't really get to look around much because there was a guy in there or a person in there using it as a meditation retreat it's a pretty well-known cave i had no idea it was called cauldron cave until two days ago so yeah i'm learning all the time <laughs> uh, yeah so we're going to do that we're going to go into cauldron cave then we're going to head up onto the ridge line uh, around the back of Steel Rig. Probably do a little scramble uh, and then get up to Ill Bell. Then I'm gonna head up to, oh, hang on. I'm just gonna get my map out and tell you what I'm doing, looking at the map. So we're gonna Rainsborough Crag, where the cave is. Then I'm gonna head up to Bell. Thornthwaite Crag, where there's a really cool uh, cairn up there. And I'll probably head up to High Street, the trig point at High Street, and come back down to Nanbield Pass. And maybe, depending on what time is doing how much time we've got i'll either go up to kentmere pike or i'll just drop down off nanbill path and head back down to the car via the reservoir i don't know we'll see how we get on it's just going to be i'm just going to make it up as i go and if uh, if i'm feeling up for it and the knee's not exploding too much uh we'll do the we'll do the kent him kent, uh, we'll do the kentmere horseshoe so yeah i'm gonna run a little montage of the church and then we'll shoot off heading up to Cauldron Cave and then we're just gonna take it from there really and see see what we see what we we the royal we me and you <laughs> uh, yeah we're just gonna see see what happens I don't mind running in the clag it's always a bit of a challenge and it's quite it's quite interesting from a navigational point of view I do like to see where I'm going of course but you know it's never always like that today I'm also trying to film all this in 4k this whole filming malarkey is kind of new to me i've done about 15 videos now uh yeah it's good fun i'm enjoying it but you know the editing and filming process is you know it's a learning process isn't it today i'm filming in 4k so it'll be interesting to see a how my sd cards work out and how much battery power i run through i've got a battery pack in my 
in my bag here so I can always recharge but yeah see how we get on with that right let's head on up to Colgan K. <laughs> slippery coming this way but let's have a look yeah this is um this is the dry spot or the dry area or drier area um and there's a little spot here people have been using as a kind of campfire slash cooking space uh, and then the cave goes right back in the in the back there so yeah, let's go check that out as well. Oh, wow. Oh, I've got to pick my way down here without breaking my neck. But it's, this is, uh, this is big, but I honestly thought this would go back a lot, lot further. Uh, yeah. Yeah, as you can see, it goes all the way into the back there but it's uh, not quite as deep as i initially thought i thought there would be uh, an even deeper entrance that would go further into the back here but i think this was more of a, a cave quarry slash cavern rather than a mine so uh, yeah there's no kind of deep mining operations however i could be wrong yeah very cool but yeah not much in here and it's quite damp as well quite wet so if you were thinking of sleeping, you wouldn't do it down here. But um, yeah, right. Let's head back up here. All right, I think I'm gonna have some lunch. I'm pretty hungry. Yeah, it's half past 12, so we're getting on a bit. Yeah, a bit of lunch, and then uh, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> Right, let's figure out where we're going to go next. Yeah, I do have a map, but like I said, I've also got a phone. I, uh, I use OS Maps on my phone, um, and I've downloaded all the tiles that I need. And uh, when my phone's on airport slash airplane mode, um, it's uh, the battery is well, well, yeah, saves the battery quite well. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> why use your map when you got your phone? Obviously, carry your map as backup, but phone's so much better. It's got GPS on it as well, or whatever it uses. So we are in Rainsborough Crag in Cauldron Cave. So I'm going to swing around the side here to Steel Rig and probably make my way up to Ill Bell, uh, come around the back. But as you can see, the um, the clags, the clags kind of, I would say the clags at what, according to this, uh, looking at around about 550, 500 meters. So yeah, it's kind of lifting. Anyway, like I said, I've got my phone. <laughs> so I'll just use that to navigate through the clag. And over there, as you can see, there's uh, some more slate mines. So. I think what I might do is come back down Nanbield Pass and go and check those out on the other side of the valley and see what they look like. Um, see if they're, they, they're probably more mines than they are. This, this one's more of a, uh, a quarry, cavern slash cave quarry, but those look like mines, so we might be able to get in them. Cool, all right, let's get going. Ugh, oh Jesus, my knees. <laughs> Yeah, the clag looks like it really wants to clear so I'm kind of hoping by the time I get up there it would have we I think this is still rig uh, I'm not gonna check my phone but um it's got a few uh, uh, what's the word uh, ruins it's got a few ruins of uh, like 
slaters, huts, miners' huts. But this, uh, I think this is a quarry. Not very promising. I don't think, uh, I don't think there'll be kind of any cool mine entrances, but let's go and have a look. Yeah, it's kind of uh, just a little bit of a quarry. I don't think it actually goes that far in when we get round here. I don't think it's gonna do much apart from, yeah. <laughs> that was a bit of an anti-climax. Right, we're going up there now. You won't be able to see this, but up there, there's a uh, small herd of deer. That's what I love about coming off piste like this, is you kind of see a lot more wildlife and especially up around here in Kentmere. I was, uh, when I was up here last a couple of weeks back, there was some rotten deer making a bit of a ruckus. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm heading right up into them. Yeah, cool. Uh, I love it. I love it around here because uh, you can kind of just choose your own lines up the hills slash fells. Uh, and then when you do, you kind of come across wildlife. They're looking at me wondering, is he coming up here or is he going to bugger off? Sorry guys, I'm going up there. Oh, there we go, Ill Bell. There's uh, two pretty prominent cairns on here. I just missed a clear summit by about five minutes. Sod's law. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, uh, what time is it now? It's 10 to 2. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. So we're gonna go that way to Froswick and Thornthwaite Crag, where there's a nice big juicy cairn. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Crag would have cleared by then. So, oh. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mention the knee. Damn it, just did. <laughs> right, let's go. short again <laughs> I was coming off Hill Bell and uh, I realized that uh, I was running out of time uh, to do what I wanted plus uh, the old I will mention it sorry but the knee uh, I got a twinge in it I went ooh that's a bit cheeky uh, don't think I'm gonna smash out another 10 miles on that which is uh, what it would be so um, I changed my mind and did an about turn and I've headed back to Kentmere. I'm currently on Garburn Pass, which is a green lane that connects Tow Town Head to Kentmere and Kentmere to Sadgill and Sadgill to Horswater. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not much of a road. It's also uh, part of a couple of ultra races around here and various other races, no doubt. Um, but it's been, it gets used in the Lakeland Trail 100K and Lakeland Trail 100, uh, Lakeland Trail 50, I think. I could be completely and utterly wrong there. Um, possibly also the Lakeland 100 and Lakeland, Lakeland 50. Uh, and then it goes down and one of the checkpoints is the um, Town Hall in Kentmere, which is where I'm parked. So yeah, we're well, basically, I'm gonna head down here now uh, for another mile and a bit and it'll take me to the car. Anyway, this is about to run out of battery power because I forgot my uh, extra battery pack. So I'm gonna call it to quits. And uh, yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I did. Uh, until the next video.